I wanted to show you how to do loose curls and short hair. The first thing you want to do is put a heat protectant on your hair. This one is made by Chi. It's the Pearl Complex and it's lightweight treatment for hair and skin. So just a little bit, like a dime size amount is plenty. Maybe even less than that. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but I just have a little bit in my hands. Rub your hands together and then just kind of put it over your hair. Gives you a nice shine too. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is section it off. So we're going to end up with three sections. The first one is going to be below your ears. And clip it up. You want to make sure that each um, piece that you're taking is kind of combed out so you get a smooth look. And we're going to curl it to the back. This is called candle sticking. You're going to leave your ends out. Give your hair a little twist to kind of help it cool down and hold the curl. The bottom of my hair is short and yours might be too, so you're not going to get a full curl, but you want to give it a little bump so that it's not just straight on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to take our next section from about the temples. And I'm taking about one inch partings. Make sure you get close to the scalp. Don't burn yourself. And you can give that a little twist. Help it kind of cool down. Give it a little twist and leave the ends out. The curling iron that I'm using is made by Helen of Troy. I believe I got it at Sally's. Um, Hot Tools is another one that I really like. I have my heat set at 400, um, but my hair's thick and um, naturally curly. So if your hair is fine, you might want to take it down to like 350 because you don't want um, too tight of a curl. And the hotter your iron, the tighter your curl will, hold, will take. So if you have thin, fine hair, turn down your heat. Okay, now for the top. So when you do the top, the way I like to do it is this very back right at your crown, this one, I like to roll it back. Then the next ones, I do the same way as I did before, to the back. That, that one on your crown, it's just nice to give you a little lift. And I'll typically back comb that one to hold that lift all day.
My bangs I'm just going to do real quick. I want a much looser curl in them. Did you hear all that? The old man is stretching. Okay, so that's it. They all should be pretty cool. And I just comb them out with my fingers. For the top up here, I'm going to give a little back comb, which is, I'm going to take about a one inch wide parting, pull the hair up. I use a wide tooth comb. If your hair is finer, you might need one that's a little tighter. And you literally are just pushing down. and then I comb out the end so it doesn't look all snarly. Okay, I think it looks pretty cute. I'm just gonna put a little spray in there to make sure that it lasts all day. The curls might, the curls might loosen up a little bit throughout the day and that's okay. They'll just get a little wavier looking, a little looser, but I think it's cute. Please let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything that I forgot to mention or that you need further explanation on. Thanks so much.